How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Bill Clinton, aka Slick Willie, admitting to the affair with Monica Lewinsky from back when he was a president in the mid to late 90s. Now, <laughs> This particular story is hilarious to me because I was always under the impression that he was going to deny, 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 take it to the grave, never, ever admit it. Maybe he said it before publicly, but I've not seen it. I always remember the infamous line, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. I always remember that it would never leave my mind. So now hearing them coming on this documentary saying, yeah, I did it, but it's because of my anxiety. First of all, anxiety, <laughs> like you can't just say I had an affair in the Oval Office. I had this young lady, the intern in there doing strange things in the Oval Office because I'm of my anxiety and my mental anguish. It's like you ain't the first guy to sit in the Oval Office to be in that chair and to have mental of anguish, anxiety, and problems due to your position, all right? You had guys that have been in there under world wars, depression, global famine. So don't act like you can just say, well, I had to manage my anxieties and this, that, and the third as an excuse that anybody's going to buy as to why you had that fair Monica Lewinsky. Now, some are going to say, hey, A.B., are you being a hypocrite? What about Donald Trump having the affair with Stormy Daniels? Is that in the third? Well, that was before the presidency. He did not do that in the Oval Office. I mean, if you're going to be a cheater, which I don't advocate, you know, black men don't cheat. But anyway, if you're going to be a cheater, don't be in the Oval Office. Like, what are you thinking about, sir? You got to set an example. Don't be doing stuff like that. I mean, it's crazy. And then he was like, oh, she should get on with her life. I was like, all right, man, you are really just doing way too much. Way too much. All right. And also, are you going to say that the reason why you allegedly raped Juanita Broderick is because your mental anguish and your anxiety and stuff like that when you were the governor of Arkansas? How about those that have been uh, mysteriously killed around you? What was the reasoning for that? I don't know, but I digress. My whole point is that he did say the reason why he had the affair was because of his anxiety. That's really what it is. Now, this information just came out, at least to me. I had not heard it before in a documentary that will be coming out on Hulu tomorrow, which is Friday, March 6, 2020. This is not an ad at all. This is just a news story I saw and I got a report on. Now, the documentary will be called Hillary. It's going to be four hours long. Now, the time in here is so interesting, super interesting. Super Tuesday just happened. Okay, today's Thursday. Two days ago, Super Tuesday happened, where we're trying to narrow down who the Democratic nominee is going to be. You know, we're getting closer to it. We pretty much see it's a, a two-pony race between Old Man Joe and Old Man Bernie. You know, 77 and 78 years old, respectively. You understand? You just had that happen. Now, here is a four-hour documentary on Hulu. This story right here will get a lot of publicity, a lot of attention. And the fact that you have a lot of attention around the presidential hopefuls and previous presidents because of the election happening right now will also give it some more attention. So she says, Hillary, that it is, she says she doesn't want to run. I'm not going to run. I'm not going to endorse anybody. But here's a whole documentary for our long called Hillary. Like no other subtitle, just called Hillary. But you're telling me not trying to run, not trying to do anything. I don't think so. I think she may try to seek in the back door. You know, the contested convention may be come in and say, hey, select me. She could just bypass the whole campaign process and get selected on the zero hour. That could be what's going on. I don't know, but I digress. The whole point is that the timing here is very fishy. The salacious headline about Slick really doing what he did because of the anxiety is very fishy. This could be all the big PR scheme to get Hillary Clinton in a documentary a lot more attention. I would not put anything past these executives that work over at Hulu or in the entertainment industry in general, nor would I put anything past the Clintons. We know how they operate. It's super dirty to say the least. But to get back to Slick Willie right quick, what was he thinking by putting this out? I mean, I don't understand aside from him just trying to support his wife. All right. Because this issue is not talked about that much. It's not really brought up too much at all. So for him to bring it up right now, 
Well, it's a documentary coming out, but still, what's the point in a documentary? That's what I'm trying to say. If the documentary is not for her to try to run again and try to get some attention and to try to get into the White House by some kind of little sneaky backdoor way, what is the point of the documentary? Okay, she's not in office anymore. I don't really care too much about her. I mean, if you're going to do a documentary, do one about all the deaths that happened around you. How about that? Do one about Seth Rich and John Ash and people of that particularly ill. Do one about Juanita Broderick. How about that? Don't do one about your life and when you guys were hippies with the long hair and the beads and stuff like that in the 70s. I'm not trying to see that. I know that story. Tell me something I don't know. How about that? If you tell me a thing that I do know for four hours, I'm thinking you're just trying to sneak into the back door and become a nominee. I think that might be what it's all about. This headline here is not really it's surprising that he's admitting it, but it's not anything I didn't know. I mean, we all knew when he said, I did not have sexual relations. We all knew that was BS. Now, she had a dress with the little thing on it, you know what I mean? So we all knew what it was from the jump. This is no surprise to any of us that have been paying attention. Now, to those in the Democratic Party, how are they really going to react to it? It could go a couple different ways. They could see Hillary Clinton as strong and brave by sticker bar man's side not leaving or being a victim of a husband that's a pig and cheated on her or they could view her as somebody that's a victim the same as monica lewinsky monica lewinsky you know bill clinton is very powerful uh you know high-ranking person she did that with him she might have felt pressured is that in the third and the same thing with hillary she may feel like she is inferior to slick willie and then just doing whatever he says because that's just what women have been forced to do at a particular point in time and even so right now i'm not saying that's what i think obviously i'm saying that's what democratic voters may think if she tried to come in the back door and become a nominee or just in general what will be the reaction to this from the left that's what i want to see because some of the more moderates may see it one way the radicals may see it a different way i think a lot of the people that are on the radical left don't like Hillary Clinton. I mean, Hillary Clinton too much, nor Slick Willie, Bill Clinton. And they may like him a lot less after this documentary comes out in which he admits to the wrongdoing. The thing that they're totally against this whole Me Too movement is a thing that Slick Willie will be caught up in 1000% if he did what he did while this whole thing is going on right now today. But as I close, I'm going to say this. Slick Willie, you're not um, surprising anybody, at least not my age. Some of the young folks, maybe you surprise them. They're not really familiar with the whole Monica Lewinsky kerfuffle. So maybe you're surprising them by saying you had a girl in the Oval Office doing things for, you know, some, some sexual favors for you while you still married to your wife. You know, they may be kind of surprised at that. But me personally and people that are my age or right around that are not surprised at all. This is just pretty much old hat to us. But hey, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, but I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think that this whole thing, Slick Willie coming out and saying, yeah, I did it, but it's because of my anxiety, my mental health, and the documentary coming out, like, at the same time, is it for PR purposes? Is it to get Hillary Clinton more attention? Is it to just... Um, like drive home this whole Me Too movement. What is the actual purpose? It can't just be to benefit Hillary and have no other real purpose. You know, if it's to benefit her, it's also to benefit her in a political way, not just in general, not just to clean up her image for no other reason. It's to benefit her politically, maybe to benefit her friends politically, maybe to benefit the Me Too movement. I'm not sure what the angle is, but whatever your thoughts are, Please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.